Okay, uh, so question five gives us a few equations. And oftentimes you don't really need a visual here, but I think if you're not sure what you're doing or what you're finding or where the pieces come from, then a visual is a good idea a few times. So y equals zero is the x-axis. x equals zero is the y-axis. x equals three would be over here. And I don't know. X squared plus one is going to look like this. So all of those equations are going to box in some area. So it's, same, it's really the same thing as asking you for the area under the curve. And how do we find area under a curve? Integrate. You've got to know which bounds you're doing. So what x values are we interested in? Your stuff's still down here. Sorry, I forgot to move it. 0 to 3, because that's the x values. Now, see, when I look at this question, I can tell it's going to be between 0 and 3 looking here. But if you don't see that yet, then you've got to force yourself to give a picture. OK, what a, the area under which one of these am I trying to find? Which equation? What goes here in the integration? Okay. And then, of course, if you had a calculator, you should be done in about 10 more seconds because the calculator is going to do it for you. But if you don't have a calculator, which oftentimes you won't, you need to be able to integrate this by hand. Plug in 3 the first time. Plug in 0 the next time. Subtract those. And so I think it should be about 12 square units.